Hello, and welcome to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Feasting on God's Word, September 22nd. I will early seek the Savior, I will learn of Him each day, I will follow in His footsteps, I will walk the narrow way, for He loves me, yes He loves me, Jesus loves me, this I know, Jesus loves me, He died to save me, this is why I love Him so. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Deuteronomy 6 verses 6 and 7 Our Heavenly Father, in giving his word, did not overlook the children. In all that men have written, where can be found anything that has such a hold upon the heart, anything so well adapted to awaken the interest of the little ones as the stories of the Bible? In these simple stories may be made plain the great principles of the law of God. The Sabbath school affords to parents and children a precious opportunity for the study of God's word. Parents, set apart a little time each day for the study of the Sabbath school lesson with your children. Parents, as well as children, will receive benefit from this study. Let the more important passages of Scripture connected with the lesson be committed to memory, not as a task, but as a privilege. Observe system in the study of the Scriptures in your families. Neglect anything of a temporal nature, but be sure that the soul is fed with the bread of life. Many are the benefits derived from feasting on his word. Habits of self-control are formed and strengthened. The infirmities of childhood, fretfulness, willfulness, selfishness, hasty words, passionate acts, disappear, and in their place are developed the graces of Christian manhood and womanhood. We need to recognize the Holy Spirit as our enlightener. That Spirit loves to address the children and discover to them the treasures and beauties of the Word. The promises spoken by the great teacher will captivate the senses and animate the soul of the child with a spiritual power that is divine. There will grow in the receptive mind a familiarity with divine things which will be as a barricade against the temptations of the enemy. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.